Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Today, my topic is Chinese medicine interpretation of how energy flows within an individual while learning. Disturbance in energy flow has a negative influence on all aspects of an individual's life, which includes understanding, learning, development, and health. The study and research was done by Sinot in two thousand five. Chinese medicine believes the five elements of wood, water, metal, fire, and earth govern how energy moves through our body, nourishing each four organ system. Sinot suggested needles, the touch, or the herbs to ease the blockage of energy flows through our bodies physically, psychologically, spiritually, and emotionally. Using needles, touch, or herbs to balance the energy of the meridians, we can bring life to our body. Remember there are 12 meridians in our bodies. So now, the learning is reflected in different culture. All that I had mentioned is about how learning is explained by Chinese culture using the interpretation of Chinese medicine. So the question is, how does learning occur? Again, we use the study of Synod. We use the Piagetian ideas to explain the reason of how we can learn and how we learned. So, first of all, we will receive the new information. Second, we will assimilate the new information into the cognitive concepts we clearly held and that includes our culture. Third, we then classify into our current culture developmental level and fourth we will then adjust the new information or comparing it to our old concepts and ways of being in the world. Finally if we challenge do not ignore that new information but accommodate to the new information learning takes place and the teaching has been successful. The next stage after the idea of learning, the transformation of new self occurs, which incorporate with the felt connection and complex cognitive growth. That's all for my topic today. Thank you very much for participating, watching and listening. Until next time.